Howdy y'all. My name is Brandon Burkhart. I'm the president of This Is Texas Freedom Force, the largest and oldest organization that has fought for the preservation of our Texas history and our Texas historical markers. Today I wanted to come to you with a different message. We wanted to talk about the Texas Land Commissioner race. So we'll just kind of jump right on into this. Uh, the Texas Land Commissioner runoff race began today, early voting began, and so therefore uh, we've got two choices out there. You've got establishment rhino Don Buckingham, who has been lying through her teeth to Texans all across the state, and we are going to expose some of those lies. You've also got grassroots Republican and conservative Dr. Tim Wesley, who has been by the side and fighting alongside of This Is Texas Freedom Force, uh, since 2018, a year after we formed, and Dr. Tim Wesley was even there the night that we held the Alamo. He was there helping us hold the Alamo against the 5,000 rioters and looters who are the BLM. Uh, once we heard that Don Buckingham was running, one of the main things that she's been out there toting is that uh, she was quote-unquote asked to run for Texas Land Commissioner. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. for about 30 years, um, just historically and politically, um, came up through the school board, I ran for the Lake Travis School Board, served on that, was the vice chair of the State Board of Educator Certification, uh, won my first Senate election, actually just, just won my first Senate re-election, and I'm asking for your vote to be your next Texas Land Commissioner, because this office is literally the tip of the spear to defend, to defend our history, our oil and gas, and our border against what the left is trying to do. We've seen the cancel culture. We know about the book with the big red X through the Alamo. There will be no redefining our Texas history under my watch as land commissioner. And I can tell you, it is my goal and my job to preserve the Texas that we know and love for our future generations. I do want to take a minute. We have some folks here, and while they are not my supporters, they have spent a lot of time defending our monuments, and these gentlemen right back here, so I appreciate your passion. So it's an interesting time in Texas. We see what the left is trying to do, and yet we see the hypocrisy as they cheer when the Ukrainian citizens are armed to fight against a tyrannical government, which is why we have the Second Amendment in this country, right? We watch... I would just like to know if someone asked you to step down and run for the general in office, and who that person is for that. So the question is, did someone ask me to step down to run for the general land office? And what was the second part? Who that is. Oh, who that is. So I'm currently a senator. I will be a senator for the remainder of my term. So I did not step down from the Texas Senate. Um, I did have to decide, though, do I seek re-election for my Senate seat? Because, of course, and y'all have seen it, and I know you had a lot of changes in Montgomery County. So I was approached by folks who said, look, Don, George P. is not running for land commissioner. As you know, he's in a runoff himself right now with, with Ken Paxton. I'll be really honest. I love my Senate district. I love being in the Senate. I tried to recruit some other folks to run. At the end of the day, you kind of look around, and when you kind of realize if somebody from the legislature is going to do it, it's going to be me. So I decided to run out of my passion for our veterans, funding our education, and protecting our history of oil and gas. The last time I seen that much dancing, I was at Green Hall while Cody Johnson was playing a concert. She completely danced all around that question without answering it of who asked you to run for Texas Land Commissioner. Now I'll get to the importance on why the answer is so important to Texans at the end of this video, but let's go back where our Houston director, Randy Bill, continues to press her on who asked you 
to run for Texas Land Commissioner. Oh, it's just for the next year. We all have folks who come up and ask us to run for various things, but I uh, you know, can't remember who asked me first, but thank you for your questions. We appreciate you. So suddenly she has amnesia and doesn't remember who asked her to run, even though she's ran around Texas bragging and boasting about folks asking her to run. She knows the answer to the question. This is Texas Freedom Force knows the answer to this question. But she doesn't want all the rest of Texas to find out about this because you wouldn't vote for her if you knew. Now we'll watch another organization ask her the same question and watch what her response is again. Apparently there's some worries about your motives. People have asked who requested you to run for land commissioner and why would you give up being a senator to be land commissioner? You know, that's a great question because being in the Texas Senate is a wonderful opportunity because you really feel like you're in there fighting a good fight every single day. It was an honor and privilege to be in there fighting for constitutional carry. Just a quick FYI, Texas doesn't have constitutional carry. We've got permitless carry. There's a big difference between the two. We were supposed to end up with constitutional carry, but the establishment rhinos got a hold of the bill, watered it down, and we ended up with permitless carry. I wonder what kind of role she played in that. And those are all great opportunities, and I love my district. I really do, but when I realized that we were gonna have a vacancy in this office and how important it is in this time in Texas, I had a group of folks who came to me. You know, we all have people who encourage us all the time, and they said, Dawn, we think you ought to run. And my first response was, you know, I'm going to pray about that, which sort of meant I'm going to find somebody else to go run. And I talked to a bunch of folks, and it just ended up that it was, it was my time. It's where I felt God called me. So I Bless your heart, Don Buckingham. You can't answer a simple question of who asked you to run. And it's important because she has boasted about this over and over again all across the great state of Texas, saying, some folks asked me to run. You want to know who those folks are and why this question is so important? It's the establishment rhinos. So now we know for a fact because the rhinos are the ones that are endorsing her. Victor Avila, who was a candidate for Texas Land Commissioner, he had endorsed George P. Bush. George P. Bush had endorsed Victor Avila. And George P. Bush was putting money into Victor Avila's pockets. Guess who was with Buckingham at this particular rally that you saw on the last video? Victor Avila. He was with her. Another one is Weston Martinez. He got out there and, and called Buckingham rhino and don't feed the rhinos, all this other stuff. Had a big sign that he was holding up for everyone to see all the way through the primaries. Then, nine days after he lost in that, that race, he ends up endorsing Don Buckingham. We've also seen rhinos like Dan Patrick and others that have stepped up to endorse her. This just solidifies what we already pretty much knew is that the establishment rhinos want Buckingham in there. Why do they want her in there? Because they want her to continue the same failed policies on the Alamo as George P. Bush was. Now that George P. Bush is out there, they can't have a grassroots activist that has fought against George P. Bush and has stopped them from moving the Cenotaph, has stopped them from reimagining the Alamo. That is Dr. Tim Wesley. He stood with TITFF this entire time. Since 2018, Dr. Tim Wesley has been a member of This Is Texas Freedom Force, and he's been by our side on all these fights. In fact, if you've ever been to a Cenotaph rally, you probably heard Dr. Tim Wesley speaking because most all of the rallies that we held, he was there. If you ever saw some of the video from us physically holding the Alamo against 5,000 BLM riders and looters, you probably saw Dr. Tim Wesley because he was there defending the Alamo with us against those, that mob of rioters and looters that were filled Alamo Plaza up completely. Guys, it's important to know who asked her to run 
because she knows, just like we know, if Texans ever learned that it's the rhinos that were the ones that asked her to run for that position, you just wouldn't vote for her. So she's been exposed. Make sure that you share this video and also share some of the other videos like the one where she calls a veteran a liar, a bully, and says that he's spewing BS whenever he's factually correct. Not only that, she called Raul Reyes a liar and told him that she hopes he loses. We've got that on video too. And we have more videos for you exposing more lies. This is just kind of a minor one that needed to be put out there, but there are many, many more that are gonna come out here in the next day or two. God bless Texas, and I hope that y'all vote for the true conservative, the true Republican that is out there running for Texas Land Commissioner. This is Texas Freedom Fight.